So it's Aaron approved? Well, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Lavi's channel once again, you guys. I know it's been forever since you guys have seen me, but um, let me start off by saying, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Don't be lurking through my videos and you're not even gonna like or comment on them. Go ahead and like and comment my videos, you guys. Hit the notification bell because you guys just need to be part of Lavi's channel. Why not? Well, today, you guys, I have a video that I actually asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted me to do it, and you guys voted yes. And today, I'm gonna be doing caldo de camarón, shrimp. In English, you say it, um, shrimp soup? I don't know how to say it. Pero es caldo de camarón in Spanish. Um, right now it's super cold. Uh, there's actually a lot of fires you guys so go ahead and like this video because I went and risked my life Could have got burnt on my way back or on my way to the store But I said you know what my subscribers got to see this video because they said they wanted to see it So why not you better go like this video? So yeah, so we have all the ingredients here. I'm about to show you guys So as you guys could see I keep tengo right here. I don't know if to say in Spanish and English I'm gonna say it both I have onion, cebolla, cuatro tomates ro um, jitomate rojos, red tomatoes, obviously, um, a serrano chile, okay, we need just one, garlic, ajo, uh, chiles anchos, I have three of them, I don't know how do you say in Spanish, I mean in English, this, I don't know, I have cebolla, this, this is for the end of your, um, Caldo. You don't have to add it right now, okay? Because you already have this cebolla. Uh, cilantro, obviously the shrimps. Um, I couldn't, I didn't have the chance to go to like El Super Mexican store to get the pound of shrimp, but I got these, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And um, tres um, papas, three potatoes that we're gonna use. And obviously I'm gonna put some carrots. I'm gonna cut these baby carrots up and put it in the soup. So that's what we have right now excuse the mess probably it doesn't look that good but I try so yes you guys um, I have that right now so I'm gonna start doing all this preparing it and showing you guys step by step how I do it if I don't show step by step please don't get mad at me I'm trying to do this video this is that I got a lot of things going on right now so bear with me but yes let's get right into the process i'll let you guys know how much you guys need um and for how much people is it gonna be okay first step it's not um mandatory but it's optional if you guys want to you guys don't have to but i like to do it just because it gives it a more flavor and it tastes so bomb so you know to be honest i've only done this once and it was really good so this is like my second time. I feel like it's my first time. But like I was saying, it's optional. You don't have to do this. But what I do, see. What I do, you have the shrimp sh um, shells, okay, or cascara, okay? So you peel them off and you have your shrimp right there on the side, okay? That's washed and this. So you want to make a broth. Okay, so there's no, there's chicken broth, there's beef broth, bone, veggie broth, but there's no shrimp broth, okay? So what we're gonna do is you basically put all this shells inside here, okay? And you put water, okay, so let's go ahead and take it. So we're gonna fill it with water. Okay, so like I was saying you guys, you don't have to make this, but it's optional. So obviously you put your shrimp shells in a pot, okay? You put five cups of water, 
you put two garlic cloves but since this one is big i'm just gonna put one okay so i'm gonna put one one bay leaf okay this is a bay leaf hoja de laurel okay bay leaf hoja de laurel and half an onion okay cebolla you guys know okay and then you boil that this is what's gonna help it um give it that extra flavor this is gonna be the broth of the shrimp okay so before you do anything you want to make broth you don't have to like i said you can do it with water but this is gonna give it extra flavor it's gonna taste so bomb you're not gonna believe it so yeah that's the first step you guys meanwhile obviously you want to wash your tomates your papas your carrots everything that you're gonna put in it you want to wash it okay so that's what i'm gonna do right now um before and then i'm gonna start getting my sartén you're gonna need a sartén not a sartén uh you're gonna need a comal a pan i don't know how to call it comal where you put the tortillas and you heat them up that's a comal okay we're gonna need one of those because you're gonna basically roast these tomatoes and the red chiles okay so bear with me i'm a little like but yeah okay guys so you leave your broth boiling as you can see i tengo la cebolla have cebolla the bay leaf la laurel and a garlic piece so that i'm letting it boil and it's smelling really good you guys like look at that beautiful thing and then you put in your comal this is a comal okay where you heat up the tortillas you put your cuatro jitomates rojos okay your onion this is one whole, this is half of one onion but i cut it in half just so i can it could cook evenly like you know and then you have your chiles um guajillos right here i think these are guajillos because they're not serranos oh no this is a serrano uh -huh, guajillos one garlic because it's pretty big and then the serrano chile so you let that kind of like let's say not grill pero pues que se tuesta un poquito okay so we let that for about maybe five minutes the most and then i already cut the we have the papa all washed and cut already in pieces um i think i'm just gonna add the zanahorias like that or maybe cut them in half not sure and these two things, the cebolla, little cebolla and cilantro are gonna be added to your caldo at the end, okay? Okay guys, so after we are done putting it in the comal, you take them out and you put them with water in a little, a pan. I like to do this, you don't have to do it. You can put it straight into the um, licuadora, the blender, but I don't do that. I like to put it on the side. They have to be, like this the onion has to be grilled as if you can tell right here it's like grilled okay so they have to be grilled so you could start putting them in the in the blender already but you're not gonna put your chiles guajillos yet okay you're gonna put everything but that as you can tell right here i have the tomato going on still kind of like grilling i need it more so that's why i didn't take it out but you put everything else so what you do with these is you bring it over here. Don't take out this nasty stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the chile guajillo. You're gonna cut, obviously. And you're gonna take all the little veins from it, okay? You're gonna take all the little veins. But you gotta be careful because if you grab them, your hands are gonna be on fire and then when you grab you rub your face or or nose whatever you rub or your cola or your cola but you shouldn't because you're cooking you're gonna burn yourself really bad so you try to cut them in the middle okay it's okay if you cut it it don't matter okay I'm gonna go ahead and open it and you can see all the little veins so we're gonna try to get all these veins out And then see it's supposed to be like this okay 
trying to take it off and you do that to all three of them I know I left some here it's okay and then you go ahead and put it in your blender okay so that's what you do meanwhile okay guys so I put the as you can tell aquí está el caldo okay that I the broth of the shrimp el caldo de camarón aquí I, ha, I took all the broth from this pot and this is where I'm gonna do mine um, caldo right here and then right here I have everything that I had put on the comal so I didn't put this one so I put it right here because I'm gonna let this give it a flavor before I put it in the in the blender we're gonna take it out okay I'm gonna take it take it out put it in the blender and as, if you can tell there's like a little color to the oil already it's like yellow okay so now we are good to blend the all this okay we're gonna put a little bit of agua okay and we're gonna bend all this is gonna be our chili Okay, so now that um, everything is on the pot, you put basically the carrots and you put the potatoes. Since they're pretty big, I actually cut them pretty big just because I feel like if I cut them too... Bruh. If I cut them too little, I feel like they're gonna overcook real quick and it se va a despedazar, so I don't wanna do that, you know? So I, I did them pretty big, but you have to be moving it a little bit porque se, la papa se queda pegada porque tiene como starch. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and put the chile. Pero lo vamos a colar. So now we put the chile. So you put a, I don't know how to, how, what this is called, but what is it? Donde cuelas las cosas. You put the chile and you be doing this so you see the caldo coming out. When the yad is already getting to an end, you do this. Because you don't want all this extra stuff here, but you do want the juice. You can tell it's still coming out. So, we do this. You can add a little bit of the shrimp broth. Okay, you guys, so after you're done putting the chili in the pot, it should look like this. You let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay, you guys? You let it simmer so para que it smell, it gives it that flavor, that smell, okay? Damn, it smells spicy. Okay, so once you are done letting the salsa boiled and everything you put, you put the the shrimp broth you put the cilantro you put the cebolla in and you let it cook for 25 minutes or 20 20 to 25 minutes okay so this is how it should look right now this is how it should look so i already added everything the salsa was already boiling and then i added the shrimp broth we did earlier yeah you don't put yet the camarón you don't put the shrimp yet you let that cook for 20 to 25 minutes in a we can in a medium heat so I have my shrimps right here okay and we're gonna let that simmer and once it's done I'll let you guys know so yes so as you can tell, it's boiling, so we turn it off, okay? Mm, it smells good. It smells super, super good, and it should look like this. Mira, con sus camaroncitos. You can tell right there. La papa y la carrot. Okay, la le das una vueltecita. Okay, so that's how your caldo de camarón should look like. Lo tapamos, and I have already tortillas calentando aquí. Porque this you have to eat it con you have to eat it con tortillas. So calientas unas tortillas and then for the final look and the taste. 
which is gonna be Aaron the judge. Okay, you guys, so this is the final product right here. Caldo de camarón. Mm. So right now I'm gonna put some limon. Pinches limones duros. I gave you the squish, the squeezer. The squish. So I'm gonna use this para ver si. Oh my god, this shit is so bad. Okay. You're not lying, right? No, I'm just kidding. Usually Aaron likes everything that I make. Kinda. Not everything. Most. And aquí está la tortillita that we're gonna put. It's spicy. Super spicy? Or somewhat? No, no, it's in my bottle. Okay, you're gonna dip the tortilla. Mmm. Really good. Now, I'm not saying it just because I made it, but. You don't even like your food sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I don't even like my own food. But this, I can eat this. Really good. What do you think of it, Aaron? How is it, baby? Bomb. Cause it's cold outside. And I like how it looks. Okay. Mm. So it's Aaron approved. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Please don't be putting tapatio on on this. This is disrespect. That's why you make the chile. <laughs> That's why you make the chile. I wasn't putting tapatio, I was putting Valentin. Tapatio, Valentin, I don't matter. You can make it hot, spicier, whatever you want. I made mine somewhat spicy. Because it has to have some and spice, you know? Un poco de chile so it can burn us, but. Yes. Hey. See you guys in my next video.